Hello folks, welcome back to another video. Got another cool flashlight for you that just come out from Nightcore. This is the new MH25 Pro. Now, if you've seen in a previous video, I did a previous video uh, review of the MH12 Pro. So this is the MH25. Uh, this one just come out and um, <clears throat> here's the box here. You can see here, 3,300 lumens, 705 meter throw distance, ultra long range. Um, so here's the box again. Nightcore does a great job uh, with their box. Um, just kind of show you there a little bit of some specs. IPX 68, one meter drop resistance, 705 meter throw. <clears throat> so let's get into this light here. In the box, uh, like with all the Nightcores, you're going to get a, a nice little um, belt holster. Um, again, I've said in previous videos, I really like how they do their holsters. They do a great job at that. Other companies do crappy. Uh, Nightcore actually does a pretty good job if you want to do use a holster get your charging cable usb-c charging cable you, you get a, a pocket clip if you want to put a, a pocket clip on there i haven't done that one this one this one yet you get a lanyard and get the smoke rings so that's all in your box so check out this light uh, nice light you have a huge uh, head on that thing 21 700 battery in this thing and i believe it is a 5000 mah battery yep. 5300 MAH battery uh, in here. Um, so again, you got your all aluminum construction. Um, you have a little bit of knurling on the on the front bezel there. Uh, nothing too aggressive. So I mean, you could use it as a tactical light, I guess. Um, I would say this is more of a, a search light, a long range uh, light. Um, you know, security stuff like that. I think this would be a great light for them uh, to use on the back here. You got your charging port, USB-C charging port right there. And a little rubber charging port closes up, seals it off right there. So yeah, there's the light itself. Um, some features about this light that I like that I've said, um, like the MH12, uh, that makes this light really nice is, you know, you have your on off switch on the back, you turn it on and right up here, you see your output and you see your battery life, uh, which I like a lot. Here's your mode switch. You just push the button to go up modes, and when you go up in modes, your output goes up, obviously. So you can see what mode you're in. And man, do I really like that a lot. Um, that is just great. Um, got another ultra high intensity LED, and it is it does have a proximity sensor built in. So when the light is on high or turbo mode, um, if it senses something really close, it will start um, dimming itself. Let's talk a little bit about the... Um, about the length. Uh, so you're looking at about six inches in length, overall length in this thing. The head diameter, an inch and a half uh, head diameter. So obviously a big head diameter, get that good throw. Tube diameter is about an inch. And so yeah, it will obviously stand upright um, on its head there uh, if you wanna do that. So your uh, outputs, you got an ultra low of one lumen and that's gonna run you about 650 hours you have a low mode of 50 lumens that'll run you about 50 hours you have a medium mode of 300 lumens that'll run you about seven hours and 30 minutes you have a high mode of 1200 lumens that's going to run you about two hours and 30 minutes and you have a turbo mode of 3300 lumens and that's going to run you about 30 minutes and it's going to start um, uh, stepping down from there because it's, it's going to get very hot you do have some cooling fins on here, but these things get so hot, it's, it's just ridiculous. Another feature of this light is, uh, with most of the night core lights, is you have a daily mode and a tactical mode. As I've said in previous reviews and videos, I don't like the tactical mode. That's just me. Um, you may like the tactical mode. Um, basically, when you're in a tactical mode, you start out in high, and then you, you go down... Um, I forgot the actual, uh, it's, it's start out in turbo, I'm sorry, and you go turbo, high, medium, low. Whereas in your daily mode, you go from low, medium, high, turbo. You basically go in opposite. It does have a memory feature on it, obviously, so when you turn it on and off, it does remember the last mode that you had it on. I do like that a lot. Again, in the tactical mode, you turn it on, it's immediately going to turbo, which is good if you're using it in a tactical situation. Your um, battery level indicator over here, See your battery lights here. Your indicator, if you have four constant on, you're at 75 to 100%. Three, you're 50 to 
two 25 to 50, and one is zero to 25. So again, I like that a lot, again, because you know immediately, and this stays on, you know immediately what your, uh, what your brightness is, what your output is, and what the battery life is. Um, I like that a lot. With a lot of flashlights, you, you don't really know what mode you're in and what the battery is. Sorry for my dog barking over here at my cat. You also do have a strobe, a beacon, and an SOS mode. So to enter those modes, it's the same as um, before when you have the light on. You hold the uh, mode button down, and once you hold the mode button down, you go into strobe. If you um, hold it down again, um, if you continue holding it, it'll swap modes. So there's your beacon mode, and then it'll go into SOS as well uh, if you continue holding it down. Again, for me, uh, I don't, and I've said also in previous videos, I don't really use the, the strobe and all that stuff. I've never, ever used the strobe mode on any of my flashlights, but you may want that. It's, it's, this is easy to get to. I like how it's also easy to get to the strobe features and stuff like that. If you want to get to them, it's very easy. So let's take this outside and do some beam shots for you. I'll also do some comparison for you uh, to the MH12 and, um, and then we'll come back. But before we do, let me just show you, here's the two side by side. Obviously you can see the MH25 Pro has a, a much bigger head on it. Uh, the MH25 Pro, they say it'll throw 705 meters on turbo, whereas the MH12 Pro, I think it's like 500 meters. Still pretty pretty long throw. Um, Lengthwise, you can see the 25 is a little bit longer in length as well. Oh, wait, just a hair longer in length as well. So let's go outside and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so here's the MH25 Pro. Here it is on low mode, as you can already see, Got a pretty focused um, spot beam and you got a really good flood on there. Um, camera really doesn't do it justice there, but uh, you can see it lighting up there. Here's medium. High. Turbo. And this thing is just lighting up a tremendous amount. Um, you got a very good flood and a very good focused uh, spot beam as well. It's just, it's amazing. So go back down to low here. Let the camera focus if it will. Medium. High and turbo. All right, so let's do a comparison here. I got the um, So over here is MH25 and over here is your uh, MH12 Pro. So that's both on low, medium. Get this one on medium over here, hang on. Medium. High. High. And then turbo and turbo so the camera is not going to do it any justice really but on the MH12 over here on the right you you can kind of say, see it has a, a little bit of a wider uh, spot and not as much spill as the MH25 the MH25 has a more um, definitely a more spill on there uh, as far as uh, spot um, or flood, I mean. Uh, but you can definitely tell the MH25 here on the left, you have a lot of uh, a very good focused um, spot in flood. The MH12, you do have a, a good focus spot in flood, but not near as pronounced uh, as the MH25. Again, you get that longer throw um, with the MH25 uh, versus the MH12. So, a little comparison there for you. All right, folks, welcome back inside. So a couple of uh, nighttime shots for you, some comparison um, between the two here. Um, what I think about this light, again, it's another excellent light from Nightcore. Uh, Nightcore, again, I've said in previous videos, they put out some great lights. Um, this light is also excellent. Which one do I recommend between the MH12 or the MH25? Um, you have to make that decision yourself. I guess it kind of depends on what you're using it for. Uh, if you're using it for an EDC type light, uh, I would say go with the MH12. If you're using it for a 
say again, like security, um, something like that, uh, I would go with the 25 because you get that, that brighter, uh, longer throw and a wider, um, wider flood and spot beam. So it's really, uh, the cost wise is about the same. I'm not sure the exact cost of each of these. I think they're like $80, $90, $100 or so. They're not that expensive for what you get. Um, again, so I will say one, one thing about the charging. So, and I've, I contacted Nightcore about this because I just realized it or noticed it on when I was charging one of my headlamps the other day or the other week. When I was charging uh, with a USB-C and it plugged into a regular, uh, I think it was a five amp um, block plugged into your wall, it was taking forever to charge and it wasn't, um, the, the battery light when it was charging would blink and then it would go off. It'd blink and go off. You couldn't see the, the charging. So basically what Nightcore told me is I needed to get a different uh, block. I got a different block, still the same thing. So then they said, plug it into a battery bank. Uh, when I plugged it into the battery bank, it worked fine. So it's just kind of weird, uh, I guess, the technology and stuff like that. But So just keep that in mind. If you plug this in, this will charge in about three hours or so. But if you plug it into a wall and it's not a, a high output um, wall plug, it's going to take it forever to charge. Uh, but if you plug it into a battery bank or something like that, it'll take it about three hours-ish some three, four hours to charge from fully dead. So just thought I'd bring that up because it's uh, an issue that I've had recently. Not a, not a, a really big issue, not a, but I mean, if you're charging it and you're wondering why it's taking a while to charge, that may be the issue. Now it's nothing really wrong with the light. It may be the, the block that you're using or, or whatnot. So that being said, folks, thanks again for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, if you like these flashlight review videos, I'll continue doing them. Um, I use these lights a lot. I've gotten so many lights now. I try to rotate them out and, and use them and, and constantly use them. And later on down the road, I'll come back and, and do update videos um, as needed. Or, you know, if, or if you want me to do update videos, I, I'll do those. Uh, but so, yeah. So thanks again for watching, folks. Get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. And I'll see you on another video really soon.